Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about eight common skincare mistakes that you're probably making that you really probably don't even realize that you're doing. But first, for all things beauty and skincare, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video every Saturday. Okay. So Sila Schatzman at Forbes Magazine interviewed Renee Rulo, who is a celebrity esthetician, and these are her top skincare mistakes that she's noticed her celebrities or her clients making. So number one, leaving your skin bare for more than 60 seconds before putting on your toner and your moisturizers. I actually did a post on this um, on my Instagram, and I even said 30 seconds. It should be pretty quick once you've cleansed your skin, Right away, you should be putting on your toner and it should be an alcohol-free toner as well. And then your moisturizer and your regular routine can follow after that. But you have to be really quick about it, okay? And the reasoning is once you've cleansed your skin, the air basically sucks up all the moisture right away. So it dehydrates your skin. So that's why you wanna start right away with your toner and then your moisturizers to absorb all that good moisture and so the air doesn't dehydrate you. Okay, so number two is not using products that are formulated specifically for your skin type. I actually did a product on my morning and my nighttime skincare routine and I definitely point out that this is what works for my skin and it may not necessarily work for yours. Mine is basically combination skin, but I do my research and I, I recommend that you do your research as well. I do feel like it's really trial and error. You try a product, it doesn't work, it does. It's kind of like that and I've been doing this for, I don't know, 30 plus years. So that's what I, why I know what works for my skin. And I just like to recommend things. Again, not necessarily gonna work for you, but you can try it if you definitely have combination skin like I do. Number three, not caring for your blemishes in the right way. I actually just did a video about this and I state do not pop your pimples. That's really bad for your skin, can cause discoloration and permanent scarring. So you just have to be patient, use a salicylic acid or something similar to that that again works for your skin. But again, it's really about eating right and making sure you don't break out in the first place. But, um, but again, it's trial and error and what works for you. Okay, so number four is using exfoliating products too often. So if it's a gentle exfoliator, then totally that's fine to use every day. But if you're using um, the ones with the really heavy grains, then you should probably be doing that two to three times a week. And if you're using like an acid serum, like a glycolic acid, um, probably you're gonna wanna do that three nights on, three nights off, or, or every other day. Just kinda, again, do a, what's right for your skin, and I would test it out. But I did a, a video, a couple videos on glycolic acid and AHAs and BHAs. If you wanna check those out, I will link them above and below. Okay, the number five reason that Renee gives is not wearing sunblock or SPF enough and not reapplying. So basically it's about 78%, I think she said, of the rays that are incidental, which means that you're not really realizing that you're getting the sun, and that could be if you're sitting in your car or if you're sitting at your office next to a window or home next to a window, you're gonna be getting the sunlight just as much and you're not really realizing it. Also, if like you're walking around on a cloudy day, you're still gonna get that sunlight. So always apply uh, sunblock or SPF um, either in your makeup or um, a regular SPF anyway under your moisturizers and skincare routine. But, um, and then also reapply. It's really important to do that. Um, but I feel like a lot of people don't really realize how damaging the sunlight can be. So just be aware of that. Okay, so the number six reason she gives is um, using alcohol-based toners or completely disregarding toners in your skincare routine. So basically, one, use a toner, and two, make sure it's alcohol-free. The alcohol is very drying, so after you're cleansing your skin, you wanna apply an alcohol-free toner, so that way it kinda gives your skin like a drink of moisture, 
right before you're putting on your rest of your skincare products. So it's really important. The one I'm actually using right now is the Fresh uh, Rose Water Toner, and I love it. It's alcohol free, and it really does, I feel it right away. Like if you notice, do a little um, experiment and cleanse your skin and don't put any toner, walk around. I know, I feel a difference, like it feels very dry. And then the next day or whatever, cleanse your skin, then put the toner on right away. It feels so much different, I promise you. If you try that, you will notice the difference. So uh, look at the toners that you're using and make sure they're alcohol free. If you're not using a toner, get one in your skincare routine that's alcohol free. Okay, so the number seven reason she gives is washing your face with a bar soap. Don't do it. It's very, very drying to your skin. Apparently, the, the bar soaps have a very high pH balance, which is not good for your skin. You're basically, if you're using like a AHA or BHA that gets rid of the dead skin cells, it's basically reversing what you just did. So try to get rid of, no matter what brand it is, don't use a bar soap to cleanse your skin. Um, your, your skin on your face is very delicate, so you wanna make sure you're using a cleanser that's also delicate for your skin or specifically made for your, your face. Okay, so the last thing on her list, number eight, is over-moisturizing. So basically what she's saying is that you want a really creamy consistency of the moisturizer that you're using, and you don't want to, like, say, have, like, five different moisturizers and you keep applying them right on top of each other because your skin can only absorb so much. And so basically if you keep just adding and adding and adding, you're just, you're, you're just wasting product, first of all, and secondly, you're gonna clog your pores. So you just wanna make sure you have a really good, creamy consistency for your moisturizer. The ones that I love right now that I'm using, and again, I switch it up uh, all the time, but the, the one I'm using now for daytime is the Etude House Moisturizer, and then for nighttime, I'm using, I switch it up between the Fresh, um, it's like a deep mask, overnight mask moisturizer while you're sleeping. And then the other one is the ROC Multi-Correction. I think it's a five-in-one correction moisturizer. So all of those I really love and I just kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, again, I have some for daytime and then for nighttime as well. I think um, I use a thicker consistency at night than I do for the day. Okay, so that is my video on the eight common mistakes most people are making and that maybe you should be kind of correcting. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I would love to hear from you and share it with your friends. I will see you all next time. Bye.